Hey there, car enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an interesting topic to discuss should a garage pay for damaging a car's paintwork? Let's dive in. So, here's the situation. A Honda Jazz owner took their car to a local garage for servicing and afterwards noticed some lifting paint around the windscreen. They took it to a body shop for a quote and found out that there were numerous patches of damage where the lacquer had lifted. The body shop suggested that the damage was caused by pressure washing, which the garage admitted to using, although it wasn't requested by the owner. Now, let's break it down. The garage claims that the damage couldn't have been solely caused by the pressure washer, as lacquer can fail for various reasons. While pressure washing can contribute to this type of damage, it usually takes repeated exposure over time. Most garages use pressure washers for courtesy washes without causing any issues. So, it's unlikely that a single instance of pressure washing caused all the trouble. In fact, it's possible that there were underlying issues with the paintwork before the garage even worked on the car. The pressure washing may have simply accelerated the process of the lacquer peeling off. In this case, the garage argues that they shouldn't be held responsible for the repair costs. Now, let's hear what the top comments have to say. Some people think this complaint is ridiculous and that the country has gone compensation mad. Others blame the water-based paint systems used on modern cars, saying that once the clear top coat is broken, a pressure wash can find weak points and lift away more of the protective layer. There are also some comments criticizing the Honda Jazz owner, suggesting that they don't have a clue about car matters. But, one Honda owner shared their positive experience, stating that they've never had any paint issues with their Honda cars. So, what's the verdict? Well, it seems that proving who is at fault for paint damage can be challenging. Many factors can contribute to lacquer breakdown, including bird droppings, tree sap, lack of regular cleaning and maintenance, and even parking in the sun for extended periods without protection. And what about the garage's responsibility? It's a tricky situation. If they can be proven to have caused the damage, then they should take responsibility and pay for the repairs. However, if the damage was already present and the garage's actions simply accelerated it, they may argue that they shouldn't be held accountable. Ultimately, it's important for both car owners and garages to communicate clearly about any specific requests or concerns regarding car washing methods. And if you find yourself in a similar situation, it might be worth seeking legal advice or exploring alternative resolutions. That's it for today's video, folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more automotive news and discussions. And as always, drive safe and happy motoring.